today and we're gonna try to make it to these swimming pools that is literally like up the street from us so it's walking distance from us um, we have like two waterfalls close to here and um, a swimming pool a natural swimming pool um, within walking distance from here so we're gonna try to make it today it is a little cloudy today if you can't tell <clears throat> I just went to the main house, um, the Ohana, to take a shower, and that shower was hitting, all right? <laughs> so today, we're just going to chill, and I made some sushi last night, so we're going to eat that for breakfast, <clears throat> and we're going to drink some water, because I feel like my throat is dry AF, but um, yeah, you guys, so I'm just going to vlog today and take you through today. Hopefully, we get to go to the swimming pools and have a good time but yeah let's go eat first so it is currently raining right here right now and I've decided to go on a walk anyways I was feeling a little overwhelmed today so I decided to take a walk even though it's raining I should have bought a raincoat but I didn't so on we go you guys there's literally an orange right up here and I'm going to pick it because why wouldn't you pick an orange? Because these mosquitoes be vicious. You know what I'm saying? You guys, I always have horrible sense of direction at first and then out of nowhere, my survival instincts kick in and I'm like, oh, I know where I'm going. So I finally found it and I just have to go down this hill. Whew. I made it to the spot and it's a beautiful waterfall and a swimming pool. I don't know how to swim so <laughs> I'm gonna try to make the best of it. I really do need to learn how to swim because it's no fun being in Hawaii and you can't swim so. Good morning, it is another beautiful day here at the sanctuary and today it is about 11 a.m. and today I have the 11 to 2 shift as one of my shifts. <laughs> um, so 11 to 2 shifts just entail kind of exercising some of our special needs animals, making sure they're good. Um, extremely important for us to make sure that our special needs animals, especially our sheep and goat that are in wheelchair, um, still are able to exercise and to burn off some of the calories, okay, and they're not just eating all day. All right, so here's Manina right now. She's eating her Timothy hay. Say hey, Pia. And then here is Vincent. He's just chilling in the garage. Hey, bud. He's gonna ignore me. That's okay. <laughs> 
So today it has been raining off and on and I'm trying to wait until there's a break in the rain. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm trying to wait until there's a break in the rain showers to go ahead and take the little herd on a walk. So usually I take Manina's herd and then Vincent, um, the goat, <laughs> Lord Vincent on a walk up the hill just to make sure that they're exercising. Are you going to come say hi? <gasps> you are. That's why you're my baby. Okay, too fast? I'm sorry, babe. I'll go real slow. This is my baby. Mm. Too fast. <laughs> I need to slow down. She's like, you're t moving too fast. Look at that face. So pretty, mama. What are you doing, love? What are you doing? Huh? You're dragging the whole bucket. Everybody want to eat too, right? So there seems to be a little break in like the scattered showers. So. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take the little babies on a walk. Let me set you guys down. Okay, what's going on here? So. To motivate the animals to take a walk because sometimes they're not feeling it and I get it sometimes I don't want to exercise but to motivate them to walk I just grab some alfalfa pellet so I grab some of the alfalfa pellets and to be honest I only put a little bit in here um, so I take a little bit out and put it in my pocket just because we did have a scare where one of our sheep literally took a big chunk of these alfalfa pellets and started to choke. So no more big chunks of alfalfa pellets on my watch. So I put a little bit in my pocket and just um, take a little bit at a time. Nuna, get out of here. Um, Nuna. Uh, just put a little bit at a time in the bowl and shake it and just the sound in itself gets them motivated to follow me. So that's what we're going to do today because we're going to have no more choking and no more look. Nuna already knows what's about to happen. So let's go. <laughs> Are you hitting me? My baby, my baby. Literally every time you stop petting her, she'll start scratching the ground, watch. So you guys I took everybody on a walk and they enjoyed it I think they were grazing about and you know running about so I think they enjoyed it but now we put up Manina which is one of our wheelchair sheep so we put her up for a little nap we took her out of her wheelchair and we put her in her little shed with her herd her mini herd uh, Vince, what are you doing excuse me okay um yeah, so we put her up. Vince, please don't go in there, okay? Uh, he gives me anxiety. Um, we put her up with her little herd, and they're just um, in their little shed chilling. <clears throat> just because she gets really tired in her wheelchair, and we want to make sure that she gets set times where she can nap. Vince, back it on up. Back it on up. Come on. Come on. You can't go in there. Like I was saying, <laughs> geez, 
Um, I'm just going to sit here for a while and just chill out with my prince, Lord Vincent. Good morning, you guys. So I just woke up not too long ago. Um, I woke up about like at 6.44, somewhere around there. And I don't actually work until 4 p.m. today, but I just naturally get up early now because that's just the requirement for most of my days here. So I am here a little ways from the property, just kind of like taking a walk. Um, the yurt is just up here though. Can y'all see it? I don't have my glasses on so <laughs> but yes I just took a little walk um, and it's quite cool in the shade um, I don't have anything planned today I do have two shifts today I have an overnight so you guys get to meet our baby lamb today we just got him about four days ago um, and he's about six days old so that will be fun to kind of show you guys that and he's on bottles and I get to sleep with them and it's just gonna be a fun night so we're going to do that, but until then, I'm probably going to get some school stuff in order. Y'all know the vibes. And just relax until 4 o'clock. Um, I had a day off yesterday, so this kind of feels like another day off. So I'm very excited about that. And then I have another day off um, on Friday, which is two days from now. So it's lit. Um, this week was a very good week, I feel. So yeah, you guys, I'm probably going to fix some breakfast and kind of get my day started. And I will catch y'all later. So it is currently nighttime. Let me cut the TV out. All right, you guys. So it is currently nighttime. It is about almost eight o'clock, and I have special. I have to sneeze. Sorry. <coughs> oh. Um. But anyways, I have special needs night tonight, so I'll be spending the night in one of the main houses and taking care of the babies. And my arms are occupied because I currently have this little one with me. We've been calling him Baby just because we haven't figured out a name from him yet, for him yet. So we've been just calling him Baby. But I've just had him in my arms. He's been crying a little bit. So I just thought I'd rock him to sleep a little bit. And as you can see... He is falling fast asleep. <laughs> so he's so precious. And I also am heating up some water to give to one of our special needs cats that is outside right now. Um, she is in an enclosure. And since it's going to get cold tonight, it gets cold here on the big island in Lapa Hoi Hoi. Um, it gets pretty cold at night. So we always make sure she has like a little something warm all right and i'm gonna try to do all this with just one hand because i don't want to put him down because he's just gonna cry his little head off so let's see if i can do this with one hand uh, that's not sanitary okay i think i got it Okay, you guys, all done. So I was able to one hand this and to fill it with some hot water. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Susie um, just because it's gonna get cold. This is like super, super hot. So I'm gonna make sure I double wrap it in a blanket before I give it to her. So it won't be too toasty. Yeah, that's a little too hot.
So you guys, I just came back in from putting Susie's hot water bottle in her enclosure and I made sure that I hand sanitized my hands just because Susie does have ringworm and it's highly contagious. So just as a precaution, I make sure I either wash my hands or sanitize them because I wouldn't want our baby to get that. He's so sweet. 